First, we begin tonight with a fleeing felon stopped in his tracks on star, shutting off his car after he refused to pull over. The wild scene played out on Highway 99 in Sutter County. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live there tonight with the quick thinking cops who brought this chase to an end. Laura. As you said, that all went down right here on Highway 90, 99 and Riego Road, and it wasn't law enforcement or the suspect who got the car to stop. It was OnStar taking control of the vehicle. I'm 97 with the stolen vehicle. Kyle Ross McRae accused of running from law enforcement, giving CHP and local sheriff deputies few options for slowing him down on the road. The pursuits in general are always a little scary, right? It is about using resources, uh, you know, your spike strips or sometimes, you know, utilizing training and uh, pit maneuvers. The stolen car eventually came to a dead stop, but it wasn't spike strips or the suspect behind the wheel who hit the brakes. It was OnStar. Sutter County Under Sheriff Scott Smallwood says it was a quick decision to ask the technology company to remote into the vehicle and stop the driver. You know, knowing the state of mind that the subject was in, who knows if you wanted to maybe try going head on with someone. OnStar's website explains vehicles have a theft alarm notification. Once activated, OnStar advisors can use GPS technology to track stolen cars, slow them down, and disable them, making it impossible for the car to continue driving. It was a huge success because that was able to get him to stop without crashing or you know injuring anybody else. A peaceful end to the chase was crucial for officers who were told by McRae he had a grenade and a five-year-old child in the back seat. But drones and helicopter cameras confirmed that wasn't true. So after negotiations failed, officers shot the windows out with beanbag rounds and filled the car with tear gas. A canine was deployed. He then gave up. A situation Smallwood says could have been far worse without technology. This could have easily turned into a tragedy. I think technology is a key component for us. I am grateful for it. Grateful for OnStar. McCray was booked at the Yuba County Jail. The Sutter County Sheriff's Office tells us he was likely under the influence at the time and on parole.